Hey everybody, this is Heather from the Homesteading Hippie. Today we're going to show you how to fabricate or cut up the whole chicken into pieces. Now, I have to say something about my apron first. Most people can have those really pretty aprons in the kitchen. Not me. I'm too big of a slob. So, forgive me for it. Love me for it. Let's get started. We're going to take the whole chicken. Now this is one that we actually raised ourselves in our backyard. As you can see, it's kind of a big boy. But you can do this with any chicken you buy from the store. Now the reason you want to fabricate it is maybe you want to make up some broth or use the breasts and legs and thighs for different reasons than making a whole chicken. So we're going to start. You need a very, very sharp knife. Now you want to make sure your knife is razor sharp because that's going to minimize slips and cuts. You lay the chicken on its back on the cutting board. And you think about a chicken when it was walking in life, it'd walk like this. Right? I can hear my mother's voice now telling me, Heather, stop playing with your food. But it's kind of fun. Just kidding. All right, so we've got the chicken laying on its back, and right now it's not very stable. So the first cuts we need to make are going to help stabilize it. We're going to start here at the legs. And if you want to look right here, we've got a fat line right above the leg and just gently cut through the skin and as you see you look right down there you see right there the little division that's just what we're going to follow just gently kind of slice it and then you're going to pop the joint and we're going to do the same thing on this side just open up the skin a little bit gently slice down just a little, just a little and pop the joint now your chicken is far more stable and a lot easier to cut and a lot less chance for slipping. The next step we're going to do is we're going to follow the breastbone. It's the bone right here in the middle and if you kind of feel it, you're going to take your knife and just carefully slice down right alongside that bone. And then just carefully come back. and gently remove the meat as you're going. And we're going to slice it down, all the way down the whole side of the rib cage. And there's a little bone that's right there. You want to try and avoid getting that in your breast meat. It's not that you can't take it out, but this way you don't have to. So we're just going to carefully slice around that. And then you have your whole breast. Peel the skin off right here. And now you have your whole chicken breast that's skinless and boneless. Need a tenderloin? Right there. See, that's just part of the breast, and you're paying lots of buku dollars for those at the store. Get a whole package of breasts, take off your own. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other side of the chicken breast. And sometimes on that side, I have to flip the chicken around just to see what I'm doing. But you're just carefully cutting again along the fat line and the bone line. Use the joints and the fat line and the bones as your guide. And once you do it a time or two, you'll, it'll be really easy. And the chicken skin just pulls right off. Again, you got your tenderloin and your whole breast. Okay, now following along with the white meat, we're doing the white meat next. We're going to go ahead and find the, bo the bone right here and pop the wings off. Just carefully find it to the joint and just Pull your knife through, and your wing is off. Flip this around, 
and that bone is going to be right here at the base of the rib cage. And if you kind of pop the wing out, you see where it ends right there? And that's where we're going to pop the knife, right there. And now you have your wings. If you want to leave them a hole like this, that's a really tasty treat. If you want chicken wings like you would get at the store, you can cut the wing tips off. Again, we're going to follow the joint. See where it kind of bends? Yeah, I know. Stop playing with your head. And we're just going to pop the knife right through that. And pop the knife right through there. And you got your little party size wings. Now we're going to go back to the chicken and we're going to go back to the thighs. Now we'd already popped the joint, so we're going to follow the fat line right on there to separate the thigh from the rest of the carcass. And that comes off fairly easy. We didn't pop that one completely. There we go. That's why you want your knife good and sharp. Okay. Now the chicken carcass, you don't want to throw it away. You can stick it in the freezer for right now if you'd like to, or it makes delicious broth. Next time, I'm going to show you how to use this in the instant pot to make broth in under two hours. Now you've got your thigh quarter, leg quarters. These are what they call the chicken quarters from the store. But if you want just the regular meat, you're going to again find the joint. And that's where you're just going to cut right through there. And now you have your fully fabricated chicken. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again to Imagination Studios for all his hard work on these videos. Have a great night.